What's up world, Sevi here and welcome back to my birdhouse. So last week on Facebook I posted a photo of a little bit of a mix that I cook up for my birds. Quite a lot of people were asking what is inside the mix, where they can get it. So I thought today I'd do a video just covering that. So first of all, I do buy my mix. It is pre-mixed for me. It kind of looks like this. And I'm buying mine from a local pet shop which very fortunately makes this. However, you can completely make this on your own. It is pretty easy. And I'm going to show you what the ingredients are so that if you want to go and buy them separately and mix them yourself, you can do so. So first of all, the majority of this mix is whole corn. Now this whole corn you most likely are not going to find in a grocery store. However, you should find it at an animal feed shop. Uh, people like to feed these to chickens and ducks, so it should be pretty easy. Um, the whole corn is different from popcorn. I thought I'd just point that out for in case people think they can buy popcorn. This is what popcorn looks like in comparison to the whole corn. So its seed is much much smaller than a whole corn. And I wouldn't recommend using the popcorn because the popcorn has a much harder kernel and can be very difficult to cook down. So I would suggest to just eat with the whole corn. Next up, the majority after the corn is comprised of peas. So these are dried out peas. Um, they come in white and green variants. And they're just dried peas. So you can buy these actually from your store, from your grocery store close to you to make into your mix. The next part of the mix is beans. So these are little brown beans and I know you can also buy white beans and there's also the little white beans with the spots on. So you can buy any bean for this. Um, just remember that beans do need to be cooked when you serve them to your birds as they can be a little bit uh, upsetting to the stomach if they are fed raw. So always remember to cook down your beans. You can feed the whole beans or the split beans like these. Next up we have some raw oats. So this is not 100% raw oats, this is still slightly refined because a raw oat would actually have a kernel on. Sorry, Azul's deciding to interrupt us. Um, but I just want to show you the difference between a raw oat and a refined oat. So this is just a, a brand mix which I buy which has oats in which is quite nice and I've just separated out of the oats so you can see the difference. So this is a refined oat. And although you can feed refined oats, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't recommend it as you don't know what refinement process it's gone through. So it's better just to cook up your own oats and feed those. So currently the ratio is about 70 to 80% corn. And then the rest are pretty much split equally in, into the parts of city. But um, you can always add more peas if your birds enjoy peas. Or maybe some more beans. So yeah. Next up, I just chuck it in a really big pot, so I'm just going to add all of these back because I just separated them out. Cool, and then once it's in the pot, I just add water in. I try to put quite a bit of water in because you do need to boil it for at least 45 minutes until the corn is nice and soft, uh, especially if you have parrots because my parrots really enjoy the corn but won't eat it if it's too hard. So I'm just going to chuck this on the stove and add some water. So I'm just adding boiling water so that it will start the cooking process slightly faster. There we go. Give it a bit of a stir. Cool. So now this is just going to sit for about 45 minutes and then I'll get back to you guys once it's all cooked up. Okay, so it's been roughly 45 minutes and um, the whole little mix is completely cooked through. So one of the things that I do like to do is just to actually feel the corn. If it's actually soft, then you know it's going to be fine for your birds to eat. You can even check out a pea. I can just break a pea. So yeah, this is all cooked up and ready. I've allowed it to sit for a couple minutes and then I just rinse it with some cold water just to cool it down a bit faster. And I've got all the bowls here prepped. 
Um, I wash the bowls every single time I give them any sort of, how would I say, wet food, just because it can cause mold and you definitely do not want to be feeding moldy food to your animals. So I'm just going to be dishing up for everyone and then yeah, we can give everyone a wonderful lunch. Is he not angry as well?